Hey everybody, this is Kyle with Attack of the Fanboy. I'm here at PAX South 2015 with Ted from Greybox. We're in the Grey Goo booth. We actually just got to take a look at the game. And uh, you guys, it's a special day because you actually launched the game yesterday, correct? Yeah, we had just launched after two and a half years, 35 people working really hard uh, at the developer. Um, and then we also worked with our publisher, of course, who did a great amount of work on the product with the working with Axis Animation for the cutscenes, working with Weta Workshop for a lot of the concepts for the game. Uh, so yeah, two and a half years, and we finally launched just yesterday, and the, the reviews are looking really good, so we're really happy. Awesome, and it's a real-time strategy game, uh, kind of in the vein of Command & Conquer, because you guys go ahead and tell your, your history a little bit. Well, you know, a lot of us came over from uh, Western Studios. Um, I worked at Western Studios for 10 years. Our president of the company worked there for 18 years. We've got Joe Bosick, who is uh, one of the creators of the RTS genre with Dune 2 and Command & Conquer, and he works with us. And so, yeah, we've got a core group there that knows RTS really well. And the engine that we're using has been developed over time for the last 10 years. We've been modifying it, improving it since uh, we worked on uh, Star Wars Empire at War and Universe at War. So we've, we've got a long lineage of RTS history at Petroglyph uh, that we've carried into uh, you know, our great Goo game here. Awesome. So kind of go into the factions. That was the biggest thing for me was seeing those three factions and how they balance with each other. So kind of describe the, the three factions for me. So the three factions uh, really speak to what we think make, uh, make RTS games great. Uh, the, the three factions are the Grey Goo, which is kind of a very unique very cool race uh, and faction to play, which I don't think has ever been seen in, a, in an RTS game before. It's very, very unique to the RTS genre. We've got the Beta faction, which is is a very well-rounded faction. They get to ex uh, expand outside of their base using this hub power system, um, where all their buildings connect into like this kind of Lego brick fashion. And then we've got the human faction, and the humans are work off kind of a circuit board where everything has to connect to the HQ, and because they're connected to the HQ, they're very centralized and they're very turtle-like. So if you like to base build and build turrets and walls and just kind of hunker down and then expand your uh, your reach out with a large mass of units, the human faction is for you. So we, we have something for everybody if they're wanting to play something new and fresh in the RTS uh, genre. Gotcha. So they're... I'm guessing there is a single player campaign as well as some multiplayer. Yeah. Do you want to go into kind of uh, what the campaign's like and what, where's your focus? Is it on single player? Is it on multiplayer or a balance of the two? Well, uh, so we started with multiplayer because we wanted to make a really well balanced game. So the first thing that was functional at work was the, the, the multiplayer and we had, we had people playing games with boxes and squares on tabletops with paper. Uh, you know, we, we prototyped this for a long time before we actually started making a playable game. And when we had a playable game, everything was gray and ugly and dingy, but it was fun. And so we knew we had something really good there. And um, we, we continued to develop the multiplayer, and the single player came out of the multiplayer. So, uh, because we wanted to keep the game the same between single player, the campaign, and multiplayer, we wanted people to play the campaign and feel like, hey, I, I'm well trained now, I can go and play in the multiplayer arena. You know, because we've got we've got a good huge audience there that want to play multiplayer games, and we don't want them to feel like they don't know the game that they're playing in multiplayer. Some people skip the campaign entirely, which would be a real shame because our campaign is awesome. We've got great story there, and uh, you what you do is you play five missions as the beta, as kind of the starter faction. Then you move on to the human faction, and then the last five missions of our 15 mission campaign is with the goo and you play each race and you kind of understand their their uh, you know the ordeal that they're going through and how they mistrust the other factions and how it all comes together at the end it's it's really great story and uh, uh, our story was developed by Greybox who is our publisher and they came to us and said we got this story we got to tell it how are we going to do it and they partnered with Petroglyph to, to tell that story through an RTS game Gotcha, very cool. Uh, are you guys looking at any kind of, I mean, the game just launched, but are you looking at any DLC? What's also what's contained in the game? Like how many maps are we talking about? Okay, so the campaign has 15 missions. We have a handful of multiplayer maps too. And what comes with the game is a, um, a map editor. So we're hoping that people will go out there, use the map editor, all the assets available in the game are available in the map editor, and it is the map editor that we use to build the mission. So we're hoping that people can create some really awesome stuff because it's the same tools that we use, they have the power to do a lot. Um, now the other nice thing is, and the thing that we're really excited about, is that we're going to continue to support this game well after launch. 
Um, it's not just a, you know, push it out there and what's the next game we're working on. We're excited about this game. We want to keep, we want to see it continue to grow out there. So we are already working on a replay system that's going to go in pretty soon. Um, we have a, an observer mode that's going to go in and we have a bunch of other features that we're not allowed to talk about yet. But those are the first two things that are coming online and we've got more stuff. So it's, it's almost like a live product, you know. And when we were talking to the team about it a few months ago, we said, okay, you know what, we're going we're gonna to treat this like people treat an MMO. You know, there's going to be constantly new stuff coming out and we're going to improve the core product. And that stuff's going to be free to players. Um, and yeah, will we have an expansion? Maybe. And you know, you can buy that later on and maybe it'll come with some new stuff. But we want to improve the core experience, you know. So, you know, people are going to get more and more. If they buy into this game and they invest the time, they're going to get rewarded with new stuff as we as we progress gotcha and with the map editor everyone can make their own yeah, so exactly yeah, yeah awesome. we are we're already seeing maps up there right now that people are creating and it just launched yesterday so we're we're thrilled about that too very cool uh anything else you want to talk about for gray goo no i just uh you know we're really happy with where it is right now uh we really encourage people to go read the reviews and see what other people are saying and if you uh go to steam today you can buy it and i know that you're gonna be happy uh happy with giving it a shot. Awesome. Well, thank you for talking to me. Well, thank you so Have much. Have a good pack south. All right. Thanks.